I used to work at a small startup with less than 10 employees. It was just me as a UX designer and another designer on the team and four developers and also one product owner and two CEOs. So that was it. That was our team and it was super tough for me because I had too many responsibilities and I need to do everything by myself from researching, creating branding guidelines and marketing to wireframing, creating visual designs of course, which I love and testing. So as you can imagine, UX designers play a critical role in startups, especially those with limited resources. At a startup with around 10 employees, UX designers have so many responsibilities and they need to wear so many hats, so they need to be multi-talented and when it comes to a brand new product which most of the startups are working on like a mobile or desktop application the role of UX designers become even more critical I'm gonna share top five tasks that you do as a UX designer at a small team of a startups so let's take a look to see what are your responsibilities the first one is requirements gathering and research so as a UX designers, you need to know what are the features of the app, you need to talk with the stakeholders and see what are the requirements. So there is a BRD, which is business requirements document. This document will be provided to you by the CEOs or project managers. You can see that what are the main features that are within the app. And also you conduct research to understand the user needs, behaviors, and pain points. They, uh, they also identify the target audience and gather feedback on what feature user want in the application. You may do like competitive analysis to see who are your competitors and what are the top applications that are on the market right now that are doing really well and then just see what are their layouts, what's their interactions, what's their user flows and also copy the features of the top apps. It would be like uh, much cheaper for the uh, startup because they usually don't have budget to spend on research. So as I remember for myself, I used to do user interviews with my mother to just gather user feedback via startups. That's a normal thing UX UI designers need to do the research by themselves. These things that I mentioned are essential to ensure that the final products meet the user needs and expectations and are aligned with the product and business requirements. Some of the tasks that you do as part of user research are number one, define research objectives and questions. US designers need to understand what they're trying to achieve and just set clear objectives and write down questions they might want to ask for user interviews. Number two, creating personas. If you don't know, personas are fictional characters that represent the different user types of the product. Conducting user interviews. US designers conduct one-on-one -on -one interviews with users to just gather information about their needs, behavior, and pain points and as I mentioned you will just do it with your friends because startups normally don't have enough budget to invest for user interviews the second thing that you do at a startup is creating high-level user flows you are responsible for creating user flows for creating visual representation of the product this means mapping out the various steps that the user might go through in order to complete their desired tasks and achieve their goals from the moment they open the app until they finish their tasks. By using diagramming uh, tools like Miro or FigJam, you need to create a flowchart that shows the different actions the user will go through to complete their desired tasks with the help of product owner. After creating the user flows and getting approval from the stakeholders, UX designers will move forward with creating wireframes and prototypes. If you don't know, wireframes are the sketches that UX designers will create in order to have a high level understanding of how the layout and structure and content organization of our product. While prototypes are interactive versions of the functionality, it's just for the team to test the functionality and to see if the design and structure and user flows make sense. Number four is creating visual assets. 
As a UX designer, you might act as a graphic designer at a startup as well. You need to create mood boards, color palettes, typography guidelines in order to define the visual assets and the branding guidelines of the product. A mood board is a collection of pictures, colors, typographies that showcase like what's the look and feel of your mobile app or desktop app. This helps to communicate the look and feel to the devs and to stakeholders. Color palettes Palettes are used to define the colors that are used throughout the application. This helps the UX designers and the team to establish a cohesive and consistent visual design and typography refers to the style and sizing of the text uh, within the app. Final thing that I want to mention is creating high fidelity visual designs. As a UX designer, you need to create the visual designs. They are the detailed and polished designs for each screen. For example, you will showcase like the text content, the icons, colors and all of these with the final layout so that you can represent what's the final look and feel of the application. So they just showcase the details of the screen so that you can share it with the dev team and like the stakeholder and give them a clear vision of the final product. So that devs know for example what are the functions, what are the sizing and spacing of each visual element, what's the colors, what's the typography styles of each section and detailed like that that will help them to execute the application and work on it to create the components on the front end for example. The high fidelity designs also helps the team to make sure that the final product will align with the business goals and the requirements of the uh, product. As you can see working as a UX designer could get super busy especially at a startup you need to have so many responsibilities and also you need to have so many soft skills such as communication skills and also presentation skills and public speaking because you need to share your work, talk about your work, talk about your design decisions in front of stakeholders. Being a UX designer requires a lot of collaborative effort. By working closely with the devs, you will make sure that the final product is aligned with your designs and is not something completely off the track and has a great user experience and is align with business goals that's it for today's video thanks so much everyone for watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative videos about ux design bye